was shocked when I got to know how much rubbish there is in Hong Kong. I know I have to do something to help reduce waste. A group of primary school students visited Echo Park in Tun Mun to learn about the amount of solid waste generated in Hong Kong and different waste management methods. Rubbish which can be recycled should be put into a recycle bin. Many people practice waste separation and recycling at home. Mrs. Lee is one of them. I gather up the old newspapers every two days. I wince and store tin cans separately. This is plastic. I will put all of these items into the three-color waste separation bins in our housing estate. This is no trouble. It's a simple habit I developed at a young age. People in Hong Kong dispose of about 13,400 tons of trash each day at landfills, enough to fill four standard swimming pools. The Environment Bureau says even if every person tried their best to reduce and recycle waste, in 2017 we will produce about 10,000 tons of garbage each day. The bureau added that the three landfills in Chungkwano, Takwuling, and Chunmun will be exhausted starting from next year. That is why there is such an urgent need to extend the landfills and construct an incinerator. The suggested incinerator adopts the modern 3T for temperature, time, and turbulence in a moving grate incineration system. Trash will be burned at a high temperature. Above 850 degrees Celsius to avoid the existence of the toxic substance dioxin, with high turbulence and allowing residents time of at least two seconds for flue gas, pollutants can be destroyed completely. A flue gas cleansing and control system will be installed to ensure the gas complies with the European Union's emission standards. To further purify the gas, a catalytic reactor system will convert the nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and water. The released gas will be even cleaner than the EU standard stipulates. This type of waste-to-energy facility has undergone great improvement. With the 3T technology, the production of dioxins is largely reduced. It is estimated that the incinerator could burn 3,000 tons of garbage a day and generate about 480 million kilowatt hours of electricity a year, enough to satisfy about 100,000 households. So, carbon dioxide emissions will also be cut. The Environment Bureau says its holistic waste management strategy includes better managed landfills. The bureau has implemented many measures to improve the landfills and eradicate the nuisance they cause. The Environmental Protection Department carries out joint enforcement with the police and the Food and Environmental Hygiene Department at Wanpo Road in Chungkwano to check whether the dump trucks comply with environmental protection measures. They also closely monitor the air quality there. The department also subsidizes the retrofitting of refuse collection vehicles to stop them from leaking liquid waste and to minimize the odor nuisance. No matter how much people do to reduce waste, there are some things not worth recycling. And even if there is an incinerator, it will eventually produce ash. So there will always be a need to dispose of some things in landfills. Hong Kong has a growing population. More people create more rubbish. If we oppose the incinerator's construction, there is no way to dispose of rubbish. The landfills will be exhausted one day. The government and Hong Kong people must work together to solve this problem.